Hi home barista, so welcome to another Bambino Plus episode. So for this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step tutorial for the beginners who wants to brew espresso, latte, or cappuccino. All right, first thing we need to check is to ensure that we have uh, enough water in our water tank. Okay, we have a drinking water in the faucet. Just grab the milk jug. Then use the milk jug to get some drinking water. At the back of the espresso machine, we have the water tank. So I removed the lid already. Then just fill enough water to the water tank. Then close the lid. We can now turn on the machine by pressing any of the three large buttons. Then after the flashing light has stopped, then the machine is ready. Here's your porta filter and your pressurized basket. Now let's insert the porta filter to our espresso machine. Then grab a latte cup. Now let's warm up the machine, the porta filter, and your cup. Then press the single shot button. Then after all the lights have been illuminated, then that's finished already. This is our dosing cup. So we need to use the smaller dosing cup that is for 54 millimeter porta filter. Now let's turn on the coffee weighing scale, then wait until it becomes zero. Then place the dosing cup to the weighing scale and press tear button to zero it out. Now let's weigh some beans. So I have here our vacuum container. Then just press the button to open. I highly recommend to use freshly roasted beans. For this recipe, we need 16 grams of coffee beans. We have now a 16 grams, so to close the container, just squeeze it. Okay, for the grinder, we are using the Nis Zero. So for this type of beans, we set the grind size to 70. Now let's transfer the coffee beans to the grinder. Place the dosing cup to the grinder chute. Cover the lid and turn on. Okay, so no more beans in the hopper, so we can now turn off the grinder. Here's your coffee grounds. Now we need to transfer the coffee grounds to the Forta filter. Hold the machine like this and unlock the Forta filter. Then dispose the water inside the basket. Then set aside the weighing scale. Then keep the Forta filter dry. Okay, here's the trick. Uh, place the dosing cup to your tamping mat. Then turn it upside down and transfer the coffee grounds to your Forta filter. Then give it a few taps to settle the coffee grounds. So here's our distribution tool. Place it on top of the basket and spin. Then get the tamper and tamp it well. Okay, the pack preparation is now completed. So the Forta filter uh, we can now insert to espresso machine. Please ensure that you lock it well. 
Then we can now uh, dispose the hot water from the latte cup. Then place the latte cup in a drip tray. To reduce the splashy, we can use the weighing scale to raise the cup. Now to start the brewing the espresso, just press the double shot button, the button in the middle. So the brewing time will take about 25 to 30 seconds from pressing the button. So here is now your espresso shot, a double shot espresso. Then using this espresso shot, you can make Americano, just add hot water. Because we are using a pressurized basket, so I will give you a tip how you can easily remove the pack from the Forta filter. I want you to grab a spoon, divide the pack into half. Then knock it to the knock box. Insert the Forta filter to the espresso machine. Then grab some milk jug. Then rinse the porta filter, just press the double shot button. Because the espresso machine has a small drip tray, so I'm using a milk jug to catch the water drip. Okay, to remove the porta filter and set it aside. Let's rinse the milk jug with tap water. The machine has automatic steaming, so make sure you dry the drip tray because we have a sensor here. My tip is when you're steaming a milk, make sure that the milk is really cold. Then let's pour some milk to the milk jug up to the max level. Okay, grab your meat jug, keep up the steaming one, then insert your meat jug. Make sure the meat jug is touching the sensor. We have two buttons for the meat steaming. The red one is for the temperature and the other one is the froth level. For the temperature, set it to 3 bars. Then the froth level, set it to 2 bars. 2 bars for the latte and 3 bars for the cappuccino. To start the steaming, just press the steaming button. Alright, this automatic steaming is now injecting air and steaming the milk. The mixed steaming will take about a minute. When it reaches the desired temperature, the steaming will stop automatically. Alright, next is to how we clean the steaming one. This is uh, really important, so make sure you use a damp towel or damp paper towel. Then remove the milk jug. Then wipe the steaming one. Including the steaming one tip. Then put it down. So it will uh, purge the excess milk from the steaming one. Now it's time to pour our steam milk to the espresso shot. Grab your milk jug, make it a few taps, then spin.
Okay, this is now ready to pour. So for latte art, it's optional, but uh, give you a quick tip how you can pour some latte art. Tilt your latte cup, then pour from the distance. Then when it's about half of the latte cup, then lower your milk jack, then wiggle. Then stop, then pour again. Then cut through. To turn off the espresso machine, press the single shot button and steam one button at the same time. Cheers guys, I see you again in my next video.